Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. Dennis made me a cappuccino, which I'm working on. It's not even morning. Thank you for joining me anyway. Seems like a little bit of a busy morning. We've been getting things organized and doing some things, and so I'm a little late, but it's all working out. I am feeling incredibly calm about Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow, and I hope Dennis is too, because it's looking like we're doing really, really well. Dennis has a few things that he wants to do today. The turkey's in the brine in the garage, and uh, but we're well on the way. I have a little straightening to do. I have to sweep and dust a little bit and straighten a little bit and swish the toilet, but you know, I got, had a clean deep cleaning a week ago, so there's really not very much to do. So anyway, but yesterday I was very busy, um, and I did everything I said I was going to do, which is so unusual for me on my vlog, to say, oh, remember I said I was going to do this? I did it. But we picked up our car, and I went shopping on my way home for everything that I needed, and I made my party salad with the help of Aura. She cut up all the strawberries for me into the right size, and I made crackers so that we had plenty of crackers we're having cheese and crackers as part of our starters tomorrow and Aura and I both really need those crackers so I made more crackers so we have lots of crackers and I have some cracker dough in the freezer for the next time and I made the key lime pie with Aura's help she did all the zesting of the key limes and oh my god she pissed and moaned the whole time she hated doing she said, this is terrible do you always do this and I, and it's funny because she was here when i made the key lime pies that we took down to um the outer banks and afterwards she said oh that was a lot of work that's all you know and but i don't think she remembered that so she's sitting there zesting and 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 um <laughs> not her favorite thing I'm like, okay, I'm not giving her that job next time, even if she asked to help. But uh, as it turns out, when I was making the pie, our key lime pie is going to be super, super zesty because not only did she zest more limes than I told her she needed to, I got the recipe wrong and told her twice as much zest as the recipe called for. So our pie is super, super zesty. I hope everybody likes a very limey pie. Uh, but she just complained the whole time. It was hilarious. She, every time I teased her, she laughed. So and I and so I made the pie. So yesterday I was very um, uh, ambitious, and it all worked out. And I felt really good at the end of the day that I got everything done because Dennis has things he wants to do in the kitchen in preparation for the things he's making, and I wanted to make sure that I was out of the kitchen so that he didn't have to work around me and you know if, if somebody's trying to cook something and you got something in the oven it's a pain in the neck so I wanted to be out of there and done and I didn't want to have too much on my plate for today so that I don't get too stressed and I'm not feeling at all stressed so that's good so I am you know, got a few thing, puttery things to do today. Um, and then tomorrow the kids are coming. I forgot to buy the cranberry um, sauce, the jellied, ocean spray jellied cranberry sauce in the can that when you take it out of the can, it's shaped like the can. That's the kind I like. That's the kind Jason likes. Funny, you know, because that's the kind he had growing up because <laughs> that's the kind I like. And I forgot to buy that. So they're bringing, they're bringing that. <laughs> So we have a little cranberry. Now I can't eat, I mean, that's not keto. Now we're having an entirely keto Thanksgiving dinner, plus macaroni and cheese for those who don't eat meat. And, um, and this cranberry sauce, but everything else is keto. We're having turkey with, with uh, sausage and apple stuffing. The apples have a few carbs, um, and gravy. We're having mashed cauliflower. We're having roasted Brussels sprouts. And that's that's the dinner. The non-turkey eaters are having macaroni and cheese. We're having salmon, salmon, we call it salmon paste, salmon spread and cheese and crackers for appetizer. 
And for dessert, we have cheesecake and key lime pie. Oh, and, and party salad. I made party salad. And key, cheesecake and key lime pie for dessert. So, but it's all sugar-free, low-carb, and it's going to be delicious. And I don't think anybody's going to feel deprived, to tell you the truth. I don't think so. Everybody who's coming appreciates having a good meal cooked for them. So, there you go. That's our plan for Thanksgiving. And then Aura has a date with um, Gary and Kim. Gary is Dennis's older brother. And his sister Kim are taking Aura out to some kind of Christmas event the day after Thanksgiving. So she's going out and about and will be having some holiday fun on Friday. So that's the plan for the week. And uh, Dennis's aunt and uncle, Russ and Pat, who I've talked about before, who go to um, OBX with us, are coming sometime in the near, you know, in the near future after Thanksgiving, because they come north to have Thanksgiving with their children. So that's what's happening here. But today is going to be a relaxed day with just straightening up, and Dennis is going to vacuum the rug, and yeah, we're feeling very calm for Thanksgiving. Not, not necessarily you, the usual case, but we're having a small group. We're just having Jason and Allison and the girls along with Dennis and me and Aura. So it'll be fun. So thank you very much for all your suggestions on what to do with my blanket. A um, couple people suggested doing it uh, diagonally because then you can figure out the, the length as you go along and then stop and I guess and Valerie said she'd show me how to do that if I decided to do that. Someone else suggested, why, you know, well, Leslie said, oh, I would just do granny square. And, and um, since the bed is square. But when she said that in my mind, I was picturing little granny squares all put together like a patchwork. Until someone else said, oh, it's square, just do a big granny square. And I realized that Leslie was probably talking about the same thing. In other words... A giant, one giant granny square. And I have to say, that has a little bit of appeal to me, except I have never crocheted a granny square. This blanket is literally the only thing I've ever crocheted. So I only know how to do this. And apparently not very well, because it's making me crazy. So the other suggestion was go down a hook size or two. So this is my hook that I've been using. This is a 3.75 millimeter, which in American apparently is an F. Now I have this case of hooks that I bought a long time ago because I did have some hope to do some, you know, crocheting. It has three spots missing. One is this, the other, the one other one is the two point, what's this one? This one is 2.5. So the 2.75 is the one that I use to, to fix my knitting, you know, because you always have, a, have to have a crochet hook ne um, nearby. And then the one that's missing is the 3.5. And I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing that the 3.5 is the one that I use to make my granny stripe throw that I have. But I have no idea where it is. So my choices to go down is only to go to a 3 millimeter. And that does I mean, it feels like that's a big jump down to go from a 3.75 to a 3. The orange one is the 3. But that's all I have. Now I have no idea how the different size hooks, how much the different size hooks affect um, gauge in crochet. Zero. So, a couple people suggested changing the hook size. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on the blanket the way I'm doing it, but I'm going to go and use the three millimeter hook, which doesn't actually have a letter 
on its thing. I guess maybe there's no American equivalent. Or maybe the 3.75 is the only one that, I don't know, it says F, but the other ones don't have a, have a letter. Isn't that funny? Anyway, so I'm thinking about going to the three and trying that and seeing. And you can see I've had this one out and about for a while. Some puppy dog and probably Pearl, but I'm not sure who ate the, ate the bottom of that one. But I'm putting that back in here. I'm gonna try the, sev the seven the size three and see but this is a nice little kit that I bought the hooks work really well they have the soft you know I don't know what that means animal island takes a walk in the zoo is the proper matter I have no idea <laughs> but it's got a little person there too so probably not a native speaker of English is my guess did this but anyway they're very nice and it's got it's got a little kit with some other notions here that seem more like um i mean there's a oh and it's got a very small i wonder if that's for like oh maybe i put that in there this might be for bees or something can you see that it's got that open weird open thing anyway it was a nice set i have no idea where i got it from um i'm sure there's a podcast back in the ancient days of podcasting that talked about this set when I got it. I had ambitions to do some crochet and wanted to be prepared. So anyway, I'm going to continue on the blanket for a little while with the three millimeter and not go too far before I try it on the bed again and see if that stopped the growth or not going to see if I like the result or not. So that's my plan. But if that doesn't work, then I might just try that idea of doing a gi one giant granny square. But then I would have to learn how to make a granny square. And I have no doubt that there are a myriad of videos on YouTube that will help me in that regard. <laughs> And I'm sure I can call on you guys for help with that, too. I know that. So, anyway. All right. So, I am feeling remarkably calm and chill about Thanksgiving. I mean, it's only a family dinner when it comes right down to it, but it doesn't always feel like that. Sometimes it just feels more than that. And it's working out really well this year, I think. And I'm looking forward to the menu. Um, I did keep a little bit of the party salad aside and a little so Aura and I could test it and Dennis could test it tonight just to make sure it's okay <laughs> and uh, yeah so happy day before Turkey Day in the United States I hope you are enjoying your day and don't have to go shopping today because I'm really sorry if you do please take good care of yourselves everybody I'll talk to you tomorrow thinking about all the things I'm thankful for. And you guys are one of the biggest things I'm thankful for. I really appreciate you being part of my community. Thank you.